Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome back to the action live here at the Mohican Sun. It's the party poker.net, the PDC US Open, coming to you live and exclusive on Nuts TV. Markers at the board are Scott Gibling and Dean Williams, and our referee in charge of the action is Mr. Bruce Spendley. It's time now to meet our quarter finalists. Would you please welcome from Bristol, Flash Mark Dudbury! And the pride of Yorkshire from Mexborough, and the former two time champion of the world, it's Dennis the Menace Priestley! Well, it's time now to join our commentary team, the former world number one, Alan Warren a little, and Stuart Pike. So, uh, three quarterfinals down, one to go. It's Lloyd against Fatum. It's Taylor against either Priestley or Mark Dubridge. Well, Rod Harrington reckons that Dubridge will just edge it. What's the Warren a verdict? Well, there wasn't much in the average on, on the... Uh, Last 16 games yesterday, Dennis with a 90.18, Matt Dubbage with 87.78. But Dennis took out two good finishes in the last set to win the game with a 1-2-4 and a 1-2-2. So he's showing a lot of good class and form, but a 90 average is not too bad. Anything like that will be not too far to go over the line. Well, it has been a, a great performance so far from Priestley, who's beaten the likes of Michael Van Gerwen who missed darts to beat him, beat Andy Jenkins, who missed darts to beat him on the opening day on Friday, away from the, uh, uh, the TV cameras. And uh, it really is a, a testament to Priestley's character and courage uh, that he's back playing darts, back playing darts well, in a quarter-final of a big TV major uh, after major surgery uh, just a couple of months ago. And... Uh, you know, the uh, best compliment I think you can give Priestley, he's just one of the good guys, isn't he? He certainly is, yeah. He's very well documented about his illness, but he's certainly a legend of the game, and there's no doubt about that. He's been one of only four players to be world champion in both darts bodies over the years, and uh, one of the only serious players to give Phil Taylor a challenge in his heyday. Yeah, so uh, Priestley against Hi, Dubbridge. First, and, uh, set, first leg, Mark it's to Dubbridge Rutgers. to get us underway. Game on. Yeah, he used to be glued to his TV screens when he was uh, 8, 9, 10, Mark Dubridge, cheering Dennis Priestley on. Uh, and now here he is playing his idol for a place in the semi-finals of the US Open. Yeah, some players may think he's been going to be in awe here, but Mark Dubridge will certainly be concentrating on the game. Very much looking forward to playing Dennis, but he will certainly be up for it. Well, just, just give us an insight. 45. I know it was back in the day, in the 40s and 50s, that, that, that you were growing up and you had your darting <laughs> idols, but who did you look up to? Who, who was your hero well, who Bristol inspired man, you to play? He? Eric Bristol was the man. He was the main man at the time, whereas nowadays there's quite a few. Um, he won more titles. He had the arrogance, everything 41. else, and I was fortunate enough to quite, you know, be quite friendly with him when, and sharing a room with him when we first went on the circuit myself, and he looked after him a little bit, to be fair. Um, still haven't bought in that pint I own, by the way. Was it difficult to play him, though, when he, he was your hero? Absolutely, of course it is, but you've got to, it's all down to concentration. If you've got the concentration, you forget all about that. Well, 100. The format, of course, best of five sets, but only three legs per set. And uh, this first set is always so important in our first quarter final. Lloyd edged it 60. against Baxter 2-1. Chris Mason blew his chance in the first set against David Fatham and the Canadian didn't look back. Ray Carver missed a dart to win the first set against Taylor. 
and uh, Taylor went on to win 3 0. So, uh, this first set, absolutely vital. Lovely last dart from Dennis Priestley. Uh, Bobby George once said it was troubles for show and doubles for dough, and that's just shown that in the last uh, later stages of this tournament. So many people have missed their chances, not just to win the games, but put pressure on the other player when they're on a finish or. Uh, one on an Fantastic one eight over on that first of the game, leaves himself eight, he's putting the pressure on very early on in the match. Well, Dubbridge will just be telling himself, he'll be talking to himself back at the stage saying, hold your throw. Just hold your throw in two out of Mark the first three legs 80. and you're off to the start that you wanted. Yep, 80 for the first leg. Go for Trumbull 20, double 10. Double 10, two darts at double 10 to take the first leg. Game yeah, shot no the first leg. There. Two darts Mark straight Dennis. in. Shows he's concentrating Second very leg. well. Very, very tidy first leg Game there from on. Mark on his off. Dennis to throw now to make sure he gets back into this set. It's a good start. It's even better. 123. Semi-final place guarantees you £5,000. Well, he could get another 12 or 13 darts in there, but he chose not to. Yeah, his points are so long on Mark. There's probably another two inches stick out. He's probably got the longest points in the game at the moment. I think about four inches long, I think they are. Yeah, Dennis Priestley probably has one of the, the lightest set of darts in the game as well. Possibly 16, 17 grams. Uh, I've heard, heard he's got the lightest wallet as well. He doesn't take it out with him. He is a Yorkshireman. I'm sure you'll forgive me for that later on. Um, needs a big treble here, Dubbridge. Yeah, you mentioned the, the, uh, the prize money in the game. The absolutely attracting the big sponsors now. He's major darts on TV. And there uh, we've got Party Poker on board, obviously. And we're here we have a full house because the crowd's all in. The one liners get worse. I was waiting for it. He didn't 16. let us down. <coughs> I thought I'd deal one for you. Chance for Dubbridge here with a decent score, but uh, a stray first dart, that's better. Really good adjustment. He's got a good eye, hasn't he, Mark Dubbridge? 81. It certainly has. He came to the fore when he won the World Masters in 2003 and then came over to the PDC and uh, had a fantastic year, got to two World Finals, which uh, ultimately got into the Premier League, which is Dennis is one of the other players who's played in the Premier League, uh, the top six plus uh, two wild cards. And uh, he certainly played quite well in that and was very unlucky not to qualify. 30. Dubbridge will be saying, if I can win this in six darts from 219. Treble 20 would have 55. been really handy. He'll be hugely disappointed with that because he'll have sensed a great chance to break the throw and win the set. Yeah, he's giving more or less give Dennis six darts at this shot. He's going to make a big hole in it. May move over to the 18s here or downstairs. Yeah, great stuff from Priestley. Number 64, we've seen him done, it, done once on the TV stages here by the American Bill Davis.